let us denote the left hand side by i therefore i is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 f of sine 2x times sine x dx let's denote this by 1 now recall a property of definite integrals that integral 0 to a f x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx therefore using this result i can be written as integral 0 to pi upon 2 and in the integrand we replace x with pi upon 2 minus x therefore the integrand is f of sine of 2 times pi upon 2 minus x times sine of pi upon 2 minus x dx this is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 f of sine of pi minus 2x and sine of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to cos x now sine of pi minus 2x is equal to sine 2x therefore the value of i is equal to integral 0 to pi upon 2 f of sine 2x times cos x dx let's call this result 2 now adding results 1 and 2 we get on the left hand side 2i on the right hand side integral 0 to pi upon 2 taking f of sine 2x common multiplied by in brackets sine x plus cos x dx now denote the integrand in the integral on the right hand side by gx therefore g of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to f of sine of 2 times pi upon 2 minus x multiplied by sine of pi by 2 minus x plus cos of pi by 2 minus x this is equal to f of sine of pi minus 2x multiplied by in brackets cos x plus sine x sine of pi minus 2x is equal to sine 2x and therefore the value of g of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to f of sine 2x multiplied by sine x plus cos x and note that this is equal to gx therefore we have established that g of pi upon 2 minus x is equal to gx and therefore using a property of definite integral integral 0 to pi upon 2 gx dx is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 gx dx using this result the value of 2i is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 f of sine 2x multiplied by sine x plus cos x dx now multiply and divide the integrand on the right hand side by root 2 now sine x upon root 2 plus cos x upon root 2 can be written as cos of pi upon 4 times cos x plus sine of pi upon 4 times sine x and this is equal to cos of pi upon 4 minus x therefore i is equal to square root of 2 multiplied by integral 0 to pi upon 4 f of sine 2x multiplied by cos of pi upon 4 minus x dx now again recall a property of definite integrals that integral 0 to a f x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx using this result the value of i is equal to root 2 multiplied by integral 0 to pi upon 4 and in the integrand replace x with pi upon 4 minus x therefore the integrand is f of sine of 2 times pi upon 4 minus x multiplied by cos of pi upon 4 minus in brackets pi upon 4 minus x dx this simplifies to root 2 times integral 0 to pi upon 4 f of sine of pi upon 2 minus 2x multiplied by cos x dx now sine of pi upon 2 minus 2x is equal to cos x therefore i is equal to root 2 multiplied by integral 0 to pi upon 4 f of cos 2x multiplied by cos x dx which is the required result